came to your dull gray lives. Come, my innocence, the thrills, the mystery, the excitement of Commedia dell'arte! For those of you who remember ancient times, there were only E. Sebastiani and E. Genesii. They brought us Commedia here at Fencing. And then there was Iberti Confusi and E. Rossiglioni. And there were many, many troops and many, many classes and many people bringing together the great thrills and art of period. We have children who learn our ways and they graduate and make their own troops. There's one Itolo, Itolo Provisorio working title. And they are amazing young people. We have a generation of actors and directors and writers who are creating these arts and spreading them throughout the known world. <laughs> Here among you are the teachers. They are the directors. They are the ones who share commedia throughout the known world. These commedia all-stars are not just actors. They teach, they spread, they take it home. So you, and you, and you, and you, and you will see them in the future for years and years spreading Canada wherever you go. You cannot escape. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we bring you a story, a story of love, a story of, of treachery, a story of revenge. <laughs> Into the palm of my hand, I will take it there, 
mind, I will hold it, I will seduce it, I will dominate it, and I shall be victorious! <laughs> That's all you're gonna have left when you're broke, because worst of all, not worry, you're wasting your family's money, you're gonna put us all out on the streets when we can't pay our bills! Now, 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 I have that all handled. I have seen in the stars that there is a, there is an arrow pointing at a wonderful lady. Yes, she has recently arrived from Venice, a widow, a rich widow. Her name is Flaminia. What? Flaminia? Flaminia. What? Flaminia? Flaminia. Flaminia. Yes. Flaminia. Flaminia. <laughs> she, I'm sure she is lovely, and I, since she is rich, I am destined to marry her. Yes, I will marry her, and then I will use her fortune to, manu to make sure that I have all the components I need for my magic. For I have the scepter, and I now am working on the incantation, and I will be vain, will find that last I will find the Philosopher's Stone, and then I will want for nothing. I shall have the power. I shall be victorious. I shall be the great magician, Dottore Graziano. Well, you go do your little magic, oh, sweetheart. I'll clean up in here. Don't I, I must go find something. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Good The loving lover's lovely love laments the sun descending on righted wrongs and wretched grubs up rest her happy ending. Oh woe, oh woeful woe to come, away I wander weeping, awash with wailing, wondering when she walks within my keeping. Oh, hi. Venzia, <laughs> what rhymes with virginal? Abstinence. No, 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 no. Oh, what do you know about poetry? Oh, Roscoe, you know I can't hear all that well, but from what I do hear, it sounds like you're in love again. Well, listen to this. Flaminia, Flaminia. Oh, flame of Abyssinia, she's perfect. What'd you say now? Floridia? No, Flaminia, <laughs> the flame of the poet's heart. Oh, Flaminia. <laughs> yes, Flaminia. She's perfect, she's marvelous. She has all that a woman requires in life. She has, has eyes that a man could drown in. Her, her bosom, oh, her bosom contains a heart that beats for me. Wait, wait a minute! You said, come here! This the Close same enough. woman your father is after, Orazio? I don't see this ending well. Oh, <laughs> nonsense, nonsense. I saw her across the piazza, what? and there she was. How many times have I told you, Orazio, you don't meet good women in the piazza? <laughs> you know, you're old, like. Like father. Oh, you're so adorable, aren't you? <laughs> father couldn't be wooing her anyway because he's old and tripled, and he, he has no use for a woman like that. I, a Vera poet. I, the one who knows all things. I, the one who writes immortal words. Flaminia can love only me. Well, you know what? You tell me more about it while I get your snack. Come on, I got oh. some chocolate And very, very rich. Mm -hmm. And 
Then you agree to my plan. Yes, Mother. Smeraldina, go and get her clothing. Okay. Thank you for this opportunity, Mother. I promise I won't let you down. Don't, Don't touch the dress. Go. Victoria. Exit stage right. <laughs>
Oh, with this? Oh, get down, you bad boy! <laughs> I hope no one finds me playing with myself in the streets. Oh, uh, but I am ready to play my role for whoever comes near. Ah! <laughs> Laminia, this love itself, the bursting bosom full of wealth, her heart, her soul, her hands, her eyes, my thoughts, my wish, between her. Oh, hi! <laughs> What rhymes with eyes? Ah, ha, sighs, brilliant between her sighs. <laughs> so he is so lovely. Poetry just falls off his lips and warms my heart. I am in love with this man. I know the moment I see him that he is the one for me. But Jono. Oh, buongiorno, signore. Oh, buongiorno. Or should I say, signor? I know men, and you're not from around here. I would say you are from España. See? Si. See, si, see, si, see. Si. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. <laughs> Your profession, I would say, you are a. Capitano, are you not? Si! I am Capitano Chocolate, Panacate, Canole, Sunai, Tiramisu, Del Dolce! Well then, Capitano Chocolato, uh, Capitano! Nothing sweeter than Si! Si Capitano! You are a, uh, man of the world, are you not? See, si, see. Si. And you know much about women, don't you? See, si, ah, the women love the Capitan, no? Oh, yes, I'm sure they do. But I, Orazio, love a woman. Ah, I. Perhaps you could help me. She's perfect, you see. Oh. She has hearts. And they're wonderful parts. <laughs> she has a soul. I know that soul loves poetry. And a man could love her. A man could use his pen every night, all night, writing the most marvelous poetry. Ah, she's wealthy, of course, and she's a widow, but I wouldn't care if she were. Wait, wait, maybe he sees oh, beyond my, oh. my, my disguise. He's describing me. It's all about me. Oh. We got a lot of money, and <laughs> I wouldn't care if she were a milkmaid or even an actress. Oh. As long as her heart was true, will you help me win her? Oh. See, maybe you've already won her. Oh, maybe I already have. Flaminia, you're practically mine. Flaminia! Flaminia, even the name is music. You oh, pardon, pardon. Ah, uh, I, the Capitano, could not help you with the Flaminia. Oh, surely you can. You're a good man. No, because I love the Flaminia too. <gasps> a rival in romance? <laughs> this never happens. <laughs> Well, that can't possibly be true. You can't win her. She's destined for me. Ah! No one will resist the Capitano's Spanish ways. Ah! Such a lover I am. Such a lover you are. You can practically spell it. Ah! Uh, uh, as a foreign man. Oh, I am the one that's irresistible. But this is not right, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. And it dropped. Oh. Like my spirits. It's, <laughs> it's so hard being a Razio. Oh. Oh. Well, oh. I think that oh. Oh. my heart is breaking. Can you tell? It's so hard being Isabella. Aww. Aww. And by 
by the way, it's not that hard to be Orazio, because I'm not done yet. That's just all there is to it. Oh, he's back! I can stare at him some more! That's right, I'm back, and I'm going to tell you more about how terrible you are, because this woman belongs to me, and I belong to her, and that's all there is to her! Shut up! My mistress is beauty sleep! Oh. My mistress Flaminia is the most delicate flower ever known! <laughs> and you are too loud! Oh. <laughs> now listen. Now listen. My mistress Flaminia is new in town, and she doesn't know everyone yet. And she does not know who you are. You both seem like fine gentlemen. Fine gentlemen. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and I would very much like to know. <laughs> who my mistress is living near. <laughs> Capitano does not love Flaminia, not like I do. You're gonna be here! <laughs> Mistress Flaminia! Delicate flower! What in the hell is going on here? Um, you are disturbing my beauty sleep! My darling mistress, uh, our neighbors have come by to visit, and um, and uh, this fine gentleman would like to meet you, and this fine gentleman <laughs> would be very amusing to you. I think you would find it amusing. I believe I might find it amusing to meet these two gentlemen. Very well, and I could use some amusement. Uh, thank you so much, Nespola, for making the appropriate introductions. Gentlemen, 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 it appears that you're both suiting for my affections. Oh. And I have see, see. very specific requirements. And so I must put you both to the test. Oh, test, test. Very well, very well. I, for <clears throat> price, in no need of wealth, but I do require that you do have a manly and virile occupation. <laughs> and so, I would ask you, fine sir, what do you do with your days? What do I do with my days? I praise the name of Flaminia. I do it in poetry that will make you immortal. Ah, the flame of your name wow. is never the same. And that is my aim, to love you. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. But not very masculine. Oh, alas. Oh, and masculine. you, good sir, you seem to be quite a virile specimen. I. I am Capitano Chapdelante Panacate Canales de Foley de Misu del Dolce. I have the fleet of Spanish ship. Oh my. Oh, Capitano, you. Such a virile and manly profession. Oh, I feel that I might almost burst for her. No! Careful! <laughs> I shall contain myself, hopefully for but a moment longer. But I must tell you both that I am a woman who enjoys life, who enjoys laughter. And I must have a man who has a deep, roti, virile, manly laugh impress me. <laughs> 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 I must tell you 
that I also require a man who is a very strong man, one who can protect me from all that would molest me. And so, prove to me your masculine strength, good sirs. <laughs> Earth. I am the Axis Mundi. 
I do call and summon you, spirit. Appear before me now, and do my bidding. Oh, oh, what? Oh, hey! Ah! Spirits, I summon you. Now, go forth and bring me the woman of my dreams. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you say. Uh -huh. Go forth, go forth. Zatori's going to love this. Zatori's gone mad. <laughs> Let us take a look at you. Oh. Mistress! I'm not so sure about this. Oh, no, no, no. Me. This, so this is my mistress, the greatest, most awesome actress, and um, she's, her name is... Vittoria Barizia! Uh, 
Keep going. <laughs> Rhymes with I hate you, Minia. <laughs> Laminia. Ah, no D. No D. No D. Laminia. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, my goodness, I despise you. I despise you too, then. We are rivals in love. We are rivals in love. That means loving the same woman we are ourselves practically married. <laughs> and if we are married, then till death do us part. And death, death will part us, for we must duel. I accept your duel. I do not want to do this duel. Capitano has uh, succeeded in duels by not being there. It's better planned that way. <laughs> You accept my duel. I accept your duel. Then one of us must die. I have never been defeated in a duel. How do you fight a duel? <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> then we'll, uh, will Tuesday do for Yes, yes, see, see, Tuesday, Tuesday. Excellent time for Capitano. <laughs> Excellent. Then Tuesday will hereafter be known as Duel's Day. Good. Day, Good day, senor. Good day, senor. Well, they're not on the theater yet, still, even. This is a very strange town. Oh, oh. Well, hello there. Hello there. And who are you? Ah, of course, I'm Capitano Granada, North of Stella, Tenzanino, Grand Sangre Rosa. Martina, don't be stupid. Obviously, Isabella dresses Capitano. What? Look, look at the, the round, firm breasts. <laughs> the nice, perfect <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely stuffed. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, Isabella, I didn't know you had this in you. I have lots of things in me. Isabella, you're such an over actress. No man looks like this. Capitano is no man. <laughs> no, but, right, right. But, guys, we can't blow Isabella's cover. It's I mean, Capitano's cover. Do a great, babe. Keep it up. Good work. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. How do I get to the theater? Practice, practice, practice! <laughs> So off he went, 
on the donkey's back to travel towards Paris. As Pierre approached the city gates, a beggar raised a cry, By God, it is the King of France! The battle is Pierre Rabat. Your Majesty, I know it's you, though you don't wear your crown, for royal men ride as you do, and shout to go up and down. Ha -ha! Oh, oh, secure, my fortune's fair, mistaken for King Louis. So he gave his purse with a lofty air for the beggar's flattery. Da 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 As Pierre rode down the Paris street, waving left and right, his man he hadn't came out to greet for a bold to shine tonight. My dear, I bring you my good ass, I've told the ride it well, and have got a gift in my underwear, we'll share at the wedding bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the G, my fortune fair to find such a lusty man. So with their wedding ends the tale of Pierre and Marianne. I am ba da 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 Oh, it's all set up. I'm so happy we finally found something amusing for my mistress to do. So my mistress Flaminia and uh, Capitano, uh, we've set up a lovely tea for you, and I certainly hope you enjoy some quality time with this yes. gentleman. <laughs> yes, a very strong, handsome, and virile gentleman, to be sure. Capitano has all these things for you. Oh my, Capitano, how you make me swoon! Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to see my mistress having a good time finally. Behold! It is I, Orazio, who was hidden the entire time. <laughs> she loves me not. She loves me not. But she should, because that man is going to break her heart. I don't think he's going to be breaking anything, except maybe a few horses. Oh, this is horrible. Don't you care about her? Don't you know that she belongs with me? Oh, the poetry I could compose for her honor. That woman needs a strong man. Someone who can endure the bosoms of doom. <laughs> No, my father is a sorcerer, the greatest sorcerer that ever there was. He'll turn me into whatever I need to be. And if you cross me, he'll turn you into, into a poor person. I don't believe you. You and your father are just a bunch of hacks. There's nothing that you can do that could actually damage my beautiful, sweet, gentle mistress and I. You go back to your little place with your father, Dottore. Don't you bother my mistress anymore. You'll see. You'll see. Maybe I'll see too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Did it go well? Um. <clears throat> That, uh, that, uh, woman? Yeah, the woman. The woman. The woman. <laughs> no. No, no, no. That woman is a man. <laughs> that woman is a man. I <laughs> saw the... Very, very and the strong I man. I saw everything. Are you sure? Do you have proof? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had proof right in the palm of my hand. <laughs> Is very upset. And oh. his father, Dottore, is rumored to be a very powerful magician. Wow. Yes, I believe he is a very powerful magician. He, he seems to have turned that woman into a man. <laughs> which and means we have in, I have insulted him, and he might 
turn me into a man? You might turn me into a man. And that means we would have a penis! <laughs> that she forgot your name, and probably forgot my name too, and that means that I would have been miserable with her. <laughs> that means that you've saved me. I, I, the Capitano. The Capitano saved. has saved me. The Capitano has taught me that there are more important things than love, that there is sacrifice. The the sacrifice. The sacrifice of one man for love of another. To know that he would be miserable with his perfect woman who wasn't so perfect. And so you wooed her, and you won her, and you've taken the pain away from me. Friendship is magic. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. Wait, no, I can't wait anymore. I must thank you properly. But listen, listen. Listen, I am listening to everything you say, and we're bosom friends! Oh, <laughs> oh. But I, I feel... I can have my head back now. <laughs> Breathing, thank you. And, as a matter of fact, I think that I would love to be able to help you. How can I help you? Oh. Let us, let us speak of this. Let us, let us go together. Two men. Two friends. Wait, listen! I'm listening, and I'm going to continue to listen. <laughs> Please, come and let us discuss these things. Uh, I see. Very good, you're an excellent man. Why, a man like that I could appreciate forever. <sighs> but my heart is still broken. I mean, I, I suppose I've, mo I, I've moved up in the world. I'm no longer a rival. But I'm in the friend zone! <laughs> I would like 
Well, you're not yet, so keep your feet off the damn stage. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella! I am so annoyed. The Tory insulted my breath of all things. He should have insulted my bosom, but he insulted my breath. And they were so expensive. It, yes, and they were very, very expensive. And I am so angry. I wish I had a son, a son that is worthy and virile and strong to avenge my honor against the Tory's insults. Aha! Capital can be that son for you. I shall avenge your honor, mother. <laughs> Aha! Off to the Tory. <laughs> Great 
that just because I'm not always right about these things. But it's so hard to be a man. I can't wait to be a woman again. I'm always adjusting. This thing won't stay down. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to be hard like that. <laughs> oh, it's just it's so much work. So much work. So much work. Oh. Mm. Not as much as I have to work. <laughs> Isabella. What?
Flaminia with no love at all. It was a mere childish crush. I have since learned what true love means. True love means sacrifice. True love means friendship. True love means Capitano. <laughs> but there's a problem. You see, I want to marry, but he's a man. But you're a great sorcerer, and I know you can turn him into a woman. Stop! <laughs> If you turn this big, strong, handsome, virile man into a woman, I swear to God, I will make you into a woman and I will need no magic. <laughs> now, you just stay away from the man who's going to be the woman I love. <laughs> you stay away from my man! You trollop! You have Oh, 
about Tori. Don't worry. I am a great actress. Am I not a great actress? <laughs>
much. <laughs> My name is uh, Debrigail Ancovi. I am from Epomar, and I am also an Egenesii alum. Thank you. Yeah.